begin in mountain pose. So feet are hip width apart, toes straight ahead, shoulders up, back, and down. Remember, we want to be into the base of the toes, not gripping the toes. So spread your toes out. Get the whole bottom of your foot connected for a good support. And then stack your bones, ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders going straight up and align, nicely aligned for support through your bones. And just let your muscles relax a little bit. But at the same time, we want the midsection toned and supporting us. So get that core working, bottom ribs in and up. And then let the shoulders relax down, shoulder blades always toward your waist. And then just crown reaching up to the ceiling, get that spine stretching apart for some good energy circulation there. And we want to breathe fully and deeply. Remember, COVID means we need to be practicing all that deep breathing to make sure our diaphragm is working well, getting that air to the lowest lungs, exhaling and completely getting rid of any carbon dioxide, any toxins in the system. So just let the belly move out as you breathe in as that diaphragm drops, exhaling, diaphragm pushing the breath up and out, releasing all that exhalation and take a few moments to close your eyes getting into that internal yoga perspective and remember it's a personal practice do what's right for your body this morning and then inhaling bring your arms up to shoulder level stretch way out through your fingertips up through the top of your head exhale hands to your heart elbows a little bit back Stretch way out to the front, bringing those shoulders down and the arms forward. Exhale your hands behind, clasping your fingertips. Lift your heart, stretch your spine, breathe in, and on an exhalation, pivot over. So coming into your forward bend, tuck in your chin, let the back of your neck get a little release. Lift your sitting bones for a little stretch through the back of your legs, and bring your hands towards your head or the ceiling and get the shoulders working a little bit more. Take a few breaths here in that forward bend, letting that lower back begin stretching this morning. And then with your knees bent, chin in, lift your ribs as you drop your sitting bones and wind your way back to the top and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, press your hands down, and just allow your whole body to lengthen as you come into that upper body for the back bend. And then inhaling, come upright, release your arms back to mountain pose, and take a moment just to feel that circulation increase and how your body is responding. And remember again, you wanna keep those feet evenly grounded to the earth as you inhale, and once more bring the arms up to shoulder level. Hands to your chest, elbows a little back, opening your heart. Breathe in as you stretch forward. And as you exhale, bring your hands behind, but clasp the opposite way. So shift those fingers one position over. And again, lengthen and stretch, breathing in and a little back bend, exhaling into the forward bend, pivoting over. And again, just deepen into the forward bend as much as your body would like. Relaxing, lifting the sitting bones and dropping the head. And one more time, slowly work your way up, feeling the bones moving into place as you wind your way to the top. And again, lift your heart and come into that back bend in the upper body. Stretch back through your spine, open through the heart. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and again, take a moment in mountain pose, just feeling that warmth circulating through your spine. And we're gonna do the lateral motion next. So again, arms start out to the sides, palms toward the ceiling, and then over your shoulders. Pass the hands, clasp them, and pull your arms back by your ears. Sitting bones toward the floor, no twisting on this one, just looking over to the side. Head. The ribs stretching apart, so you can breathe into that side of your body as you relax 
into the side stretch. And then inhale back to the right and stretch your hands around for a little balance. Sitting bones down, crown high, and again without twisting to the opposite side. Ribs opening, stretching apart through that side of your body as you breathe. Push the foot down for a little bit more stretch if you love it. And again, inhale upright and exhale into mountain. Feel your body. Just notice the sides a little bit more energized. And our twist positions for our final warm-ups, inhaling, arms to the side, palms toward the ceiling, and again, over your shoulders, clasping your elbows this time. Pull those elbows back, arms by your ears, sitting bones toward the floor, and remember, stretch the spine apart so it has room to twist, lengthening up through the crown. Exhale, and turn either direction for your twist. Knees a little bent, weight on both feet evenly, Stretch up with the breath in. Pick in the twist and take it forward. And just relax. Evenly while you're twisted in the forward bend. And of course, breathe and relax. Come up. As you slowly work your way to the top. And then looking overhead, lift your heart. Be gentle on your low back while you're twisted, coming into that upper body for the back bend while you're twisted. And then inhale to the top, exhale to the center, put your arms around, and again, pull the shoulders down. Elbows and head up, and ready to twist down to Exhale and to Maybe a little bit more. Sink into both feet even. Keep relaxing. Deepening as much as your body needs. And then slowly work your way up. Look overhead. Pull those elbows back. Step towards the ceiling. And again, gentle in the low back while you're twisting. Breathe and lengthen. Inhale, coming upright. Exhale, back towards the center. Now bring your arms straight up over your shoulders. Shoulder blades down, sitting bones down. We're going to pivot at that hip joint at the top of your thigh and come parallel to the floor, well, as much as you can. And stretch the sitting bones and crown away from each other. Lengthen that spine. And then just drop into ragdoll and hang. So let the lower back get a nice stretch as you're in this forward hanging position, just as deep into it as your body wants to go. Sitting bones lifting, whole body relaxing. If you like that extra stretch on your back, you can pull your hands behind your legs and pull in a little deeper or not. And then exhaling, release those hands to the front. Bring your hands sliding up below your knees on your shins. Press the palms in. And again, flatten your back and stretch out through your spine. And then exhaling back to ragdoll. Just bring your hands together. Slowly work your way up to standing. Hands at your heart. And release again to mountain pose. Close your eyes. Feel your body. Notice that circulation through your spine and maybe feeling a little more energized and ready for some work this morning. So we're going to do a warrior sequence today. We're going to start with warrior two. And for warrior two, remember, you're going to keep your body open toward the side and you want to make sure that everything as you open is balanced evenly into both feet. So we're going to start at the front of the mat. Realign into mountain pose there. Get the weight even into both feet. Sitting bones down. Chest up, shoulders back, and crown to the ceiling. Bring your hands to your heart. We're going to look at the hands, inhaling and bringing them straight up. 
you can continue looking at the thumbs there, or you can pull the thumbs back and get your body into a little upper body back bend if you like back bend. And then exhaling, slowly bring your hands back to your chest and pivot at your hips, coming all the way down into ragdoll. Tuck your chin in and just hang for a moment. Slide your hands up onto your shins. Lengthen and flatten your back. So sitting bones one way, chest and chin forward. And then exhale and relax back down. Palms together. And again, inhaling, just slowly work your way up. Hands to your heart. And then we're going to take a big step back with the right foot. So just stepping back. That back foot is going to angle so that the heel goes out and the toes go forward toward the kind of front of your mat. And remember, you want your knee to bend the same direction your toes are going. The front knee is going to come right above the ankle so that you're supported by your bones and your weight is sinking into both feet. Your knee is going toward like the second toe. And when you look forward, you should be able to see your whole toes in front of you just slightly and you don't want your knee bending either in toward the middle or out toward the side so right above the ankle and then bring your elbow or your back arm back and your front arm forward at shoulder level palms toward the floor and then sink into both feet evenly so if your leg angle is a little bit of an angle, that's okay. If you want to be in the fully realized pose, it's a deeper step back so that your thigh is parallel to the floor in the front. And then breathe and relax. Shoulders down. And just allow yourself to sink straight down toward the floor. So you're not shifting forward in this position when you're in warrior two. And you can face to the side. Or if you're comfortable, you can kind of rotate without pulling your hip forward to look out over your front hand. And then just sink deeply into both feet. Inhale. And as you exhale, maybe sink a little deeper into those hips. Breathe. As you're in that position, make sure that back arm isn't falling down. So kind of bring both palms toward the ceiling, rotate the arms, and then back toward the floor. That helps to keep that alignment a little bit better. And then we're going to straighten the front leg and turn both feet to the front into star position. And release. So just take a moment there in that wide leg position. And we're going to, of course, do warrior on the opposite side so that we balance the body. So you can keep your feet exactly where they are, but we're going to turn the other foot 90 degrees and then heel back and toes forward on that back foot. But again, keep that back hip pulled back so your whole body is facing toward the side. Bend that front knee right above the ankle, sink down. If you like the full position, you can get that back heel further back. And again, arms up at shoulder level. Think straight down, relax. Palms toward the ceiling and then back down toward the floor if you like to make sure that shoulder alignment is good. And again, you can keep facing where you're facing or you can turn without moving that back hip and look over that front hand. Take a breath, just sink deeper into the hips and relax. And again, we're going to straighten the front knee, turn your face forward, feet to the front, star position, and release. Take a moment, just feeling your body. Deepen into the connection, into the floor. And remember, when you're in your position as a warrior, you want both feet evenly grounded. So make sure that back heel, that foot is getting as much weight into it as the front foot. And your body sinks straight toward the floor. So we're going to do a few variations on warrior. And we're going to continue working in warrior two only today. So this time we're going to bring the arms up first. Turn one foot to the side. 
heel back and toes forward on that foot behind you. And again, just allow that front knee to bend right over your ankle. So this time we're going to do a position that's a little bit different. We're going to stay in the warrior leg position, but we're going to move the arms around. So we're going to bring the back arm forward next to the other one, kind of shift as you do, rotating at the hip slightly with that hip bone going toward the front, but you're still keeping the position of the body straight. And then we're going to pull the bow back for your warrior and release it. And then bringing the arms back forward, pull that back back, arms back, and release. And then bring the arm back around behind you into full warrior two. Straighten your front knee, feet to the front and release. So take a moment, connecting into the earth through both feet evenly. Feel a little bit more energized, maybe through that midsection, just aware of how that's feeling for you. And of course, we're going to balance the body on the other side. So arms up, foot to the side, heel back, toes forward on that back foot. Bend your front knee, coming into your warrior. Again, sink gently into it. Get the weight into both feet evenly. Straight down with those hips toward the floor. And then bringing that back arm forward, we're going to shoot the bow. So bring that bow back and release it. Arms back down. Bow back into position. And release. And then pulling the arm back into warrior two, straightening your front knee, turning the feet to the front, star position, energize, and release. So take a moment again, just focusing on how your body is feeling. Make sure those sitting bones are going down, not straining that lower back, chest open at the front shoulder blades towards your waist. And we'll do one more variation on our warrior two for today. So again, keep the weight into both feet evenly. Sink straight down. Keep those hips open to the side. And once more, bring your arms up. Turn your foot. Heel back, toes forward on that foot behind. And bend your front knee. So we're in warrior two. Just keep sinking straight down into both feet, hips straight toward the floor. You can turn your palms up, making sure that back arm is at shoulder level, and then palms back toward the floor. Now this time, we're gonna shift forward at that hip joint, and then pivot. You can turn the palms to the front. You can bring the arm along the leg, either at the back or the front, whichever is more comfortable for you and then bring that arm in the air straight above your shoulder. If that's not comfortable, you can bring your elbow to that front knee for a little bit easier stretch. So you want the ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder all lined up, and then you can rotate that arm palm toward the floor, bringing the arm by your ear for that side angle stretch. Lengthen out through your side. Push into that back foot as evenly as the front foot. And then arm up straight above you. Pivot back into mount, into warrior. And straighten your knee. Feet to the front. And release. So again, feel your body. A little bit more stretch again through the side that time. So take a moment. Breathing. Feeling our body. Just sinking evenly into your feet. Sitting bones toward the floor, ribs in and up, shoulders, shoulder blades down. And again, balancing to the other side. Arms up, turn your foot to the side, heel back, toes forward on that back foot, bend your front knee into your warrior. Find your position, just settle into it. Palms up to keep those shoulders even, palms down. 
stretching into your warrior. Take a breath. Sink straight down into both feet evenly. And again, we're going to push, push, push forward. Palms to the front, forward to the floor. And again, pivoting into that up and down position. So either arm in front or back, whatever is good for your body. Or once again, elbow on the knee, arm straight up above you. So take a few moments and breathe. Find your position. Allow everything to sink evenly into both feet. So that back foot should have as much connection to the mat as the front one. And then pivoting back up, palms toward the floor, you're back in warrior position. And again, straightening your knee, turning your feet forward, energize the star, and release. So once more, kind of feel your upper body, feel your hips and pelvis, Feel that connection down into the earth. Remember, yoga is that internal perspective. It's not just going through the motions. You want to make sure that you're fully present in your body as you're working your perspective, your position. And we're going to do one more variation. So again, sinking into your feet, up through the spine, arm bad at shoulder level, turn the foot 90 degrees, other foot, heel, back, toes forward. Bend your front knee coming into your warrior two. Palms up and then down to help those shoulders align. Take a moment and breathe. Make sure your body is sinking straight down. And then we're going to do the reverse peaceful warrior. So the arm comes along the back leg and the other one comes up. Turn the palm toward your head and bring it back by your ear. So again, another stretch through the side of your body. Deep breath, exhaling tension. And then pivoting back up into your warrior, palms toward the floor, sinking straight down. And front knee straightened, turning to the front, and release. So again, just take a few moments and breathe. Notice how your body feels. A little bit more energized, maybe along the sides that time. And one more time, we'll do our balancing the body. So sinking down through the sitting bones, ribs in and up, arms at shoulder level, crown reaching towards the ceiling. We're going to turn the opposite foot 90 degrees. Heel back, toes forward, bending that knee toward the toes when you get into that back knee. And then again, bending that front knee right over your ankle. Sink straight down with your hips. Get the weight into both feet evenly. And we're pivoting, coming into that side stretch, and then palm turning toward your head and moving further into a little bit of a side bend through that whole rib area. You can keep sliding this back hand down further if you want to. Breathing and relaxing as you bring that upper arm next to your ear and just energize out through those fingertips toward the back. Take a breath, sink into both feet evenly. And then pivoting back up, arms coming, pivoting back into warrior two. And straightening the front knee. Turn your feet to the front, stretch it out, and release. So again, just take a moment, feeling the ribs on the side that we're stretching, noticing how your feet are sinking evenly into that surface beneath you. Hips open, sitting bones down, feel that nice pelvic opening. Shoulders up, back and down, and crown to the ceiling. So we're going to bring the thumbs to that crease at the front of, at top of your thighs and pivot. So keep your back as flat as you can coming forward. And we're going to do a little standing twist before we go to the floor. So you can bring your hands either right under your shoulders to the floor. If you've got a block, you can use that to raise the floor. Or you can just bring your hands to your shins as you keep your spine nice and flat behind you. 
So sitting bones going one way, crown going forward. We're going to keep the right hand either on the shin, the block, or the floor, and bring the opposite hand out to the side. Look at that hand and keep rotating it up toward the ceiling while you look at it. So your whole spine, remember, is sitting bones back, crown forward to keep those spine bones moving apart. Space between your vertebrae to twist. If you love twists and you want even more than this, you can take your hand on the floor toward your opposite leg and pull the arm in the air behind you further, keeping your whole body straight and moving into the twist. So hip, ribs, shoulder, everything, not just your neck turning further. And then bring your hands back down and your arms straight up. Keep looking at it as you bring it out to the side and pivot back all the way down parallel to the floor. Again, hands down on the floor or on your shins or your block and stretch the hips and crown away from each other. Shoulder blades always toward your waist. And then keeping your opposite hand in the middle, arm out to the other side, pivot and rotate looking up. And again, find stretching apart for that twist. Those of you who want, you can stay there with your hand on your shin or straight down, or you can bring it to the opposite leg and rotate your whole body further into the twist. Hip, ribs, shoulder, everything moving, not just your neck. And then to release again, the hand comes first back to the middle or your leg, and you look up at that hand as you bring it to the side, and back down to the floor. Straighten everything out. Bring your hands to your legs and slowly pivot back and this time into mountain pose. So take a moment feeling your body. Focus inward. Notice maybe a little more stimulation all along your spine from the twist. And we're going to inhale, looking up, exhale, pivoting over, and come all the way down to your mat into mount into child's pose for a connection to the floor. <clears throat> so hands, palms up at your sides, forehead coming forward. Remember you're padding if you need it, either under your ankles, heels and hips, or between your calves and thighs. Pad under your forehead if you want to. Get your stretch in your lower back with the knees together or separate your knees and give your breathing a little bit more room, deepening into that forward bend. Just give yourself a good stretch along the back of your body as you breathe and relax into the surface beneath you. And then inhaling, sitting back up, bring your legs out to the front, to the end of the mat. Connect into your sitting bones, knees and toes toward the ceiling, sitting bones connected, stacking your shoulders above your hips, crown to the ceiling, staff position. And we're just going to use the core for support as we roll back onto our backs into corpse position. So take a moment on your back to position your body, kind of move it around, get that sacrum lower back nicely connected. And then bring your arms to T position, palms up or down, your choice, and one more brief twist before our relaxation. So press your back down, bend your knees, heels in towards your hips, feet flat. And then bring your feet off the floor, knees right above your hips, and exhale, rolling the knees toward one side while you turn your head toward that arm behind you. you have your hands palms up or palms down for a little bit more stability. Your choice. And just let those knees come as far toward the floor as they want to, getting your lower back into the twist. If you need to put some support on your feet or a pad or blanket under your knees, you can do that. If you like the lower back twist, you can rotate your knees a little further in the direction of your elbows. 
Shoulders and shoulder blades down to the middle back twist, head turning toward the arm behind you for the neck and shoulder. And then heels toward your hips or roll onto your back and feet to the floor. Again, positioning, finding your spine, noticing any energy from that twist spiraling through you. And then keeping the back down, again, the feet come up, right above, knees above the hips, and roll to the opposite side, turn your head behind you. And again, deepen into your twist as much or as little as you like on this side, as much for the lower back, the middle back, and the neck and shoulder as your body wants on this side. Breathe deeply, exhale and relax. Maximize or minimize doing what's right for your spine, personal practice. And when you're ready to release, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, feet to the floor, and sliding into mountain pose for our relaxation, or corpse pose for our relaxation. So again, get that whole back of your body connected. Just focus on the spine, feeling that energy from the twist. Connecting up into the middle of your skull, allowing your whole body just to deepen into that surface beneath you. Deep breath. Exhaling tension. Just allowing that whole lower body to relax. A lot of warrior energy goes into the legs, hips, pelvis. Let it go. And relax your torso, your shoulders, your arms, your upper body. Soften your face. Exhale and just let your body grow deep into the earth, heavy and relaxed. As you breathe, just release your body deeper and deeper into that earthbound connection. And then let your body go. Just allow the cellular memory and synaptic connection to grow from your yoga practice. As you let your awareness release your body and release the content of your thoughts. Deepen into the surface beneath you and just allow everything to find that peace within and fill with peace. And then if you'd like to continue relaxing, just stay in your corpse pose, letting your mind drift and the peace grow within you. If you're ready to release, just bring energy and awareness back to the moment, back to your body. Begin moving gently, stretching more fully as you breathe more deeply. And when you're ready for your final hug of appreciation, just bring your heels in toward your hips. Bend your knees toward your heart, wrap your arms around, and give yourself a good hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready, release that, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's in the rest of your day today. So breathe deep. Exhale and relax. Focus inward and just get ready for whatever's ahead. Thanks for joining me.